dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn algebra. From Professor Saborno Isaac Barry. Oh, Simplify 
everything. So 12 x y plus 18 plus 18 plus 36 plus 18 minus 3x is going to be minus 15x and then minus uh, 3y. And uh, wait, what is that? Uh, 12xy plus, okay, 36. That's a very real shit. And if you notice, we can actually factor it by 3 to get the expression 4xy plus uh, 12 minus 5x minus y. But uh, we're not going to talk about that. And before we look at some word problems, let's look at a final example. Okay, one. Monstrous, monstrous. So, 2x times 9, no, 2x times 9y plus 6, okay, minus 3x times 6y plus 6y minus 19, no, that's too big of a number, let's say 9. Then plus 3 times x plus 6. So now, let's simplify. So let's times 9y is 18xy. 2x times 6 is 12x. Minus 3x minus 3x times 6y is going to be minus 18xy. Minus 3x times minus 9 is going to be plus 27x. Plus 3x times uh, x, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 6 is 18. Now let's simplify. These cancel out. 12 plus 27 is going to be 39x, and then we have plus 3x plus 18. So that's going to be 42x plus 18. Look, we simplified this.
150 times 6 is going to be 150 one day, 150 second day, 150 third day, 150 fourth day, 150 fifth day, and 150 on the sixth day. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, CS. Bam is on point right there. Okay, so this is 150, 150, 150. Uh, you get the point because you uh, can see multiplication is repeated addition. In addition, and how much money you accumulate over the process of days. So 150x times x equals 5,000. Yeah. Now, we can use the beautiful division property to get what we want. 5,000 over 150. Now, wow. cancel out the factors. Cancel out the factors unneeded. 100 over 3, which is going to be wow. equal to 33.333 in decimal. That's what I said, Professor. Which is going to be approximately 33 days and 8 hours. So basically, a month and three days. A month and... Shut up. You spoiled the answers. I am So, we solved uh, Mr. Rodriguez. Why don't you look at the problem we solved? Professor, can you explain how you use the mm -hmm. divisions property? Do you understand what the problem is? Yes. But, Professor, I have a question. What? How do you use the division property to solve for an isolate x? Well, you mm -hmm. should know the division property by this time, so... Can you give an example? Because I don't think I heard of it before. Okay, so... Without further ado, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Is that fine with you, everybody? Okay. Okay, so, um, we're going to try one more problem before we go. So, let's say you make, hmm, you make, Uh, after doing uh, your tours, and uh, yeah, uh, no, let's say let's work something out. So let's say you work at a store. You work at a store, and you gain. Uh, Hmm, let's say $100 a day. It's not going to be a really famous store. So, uh, you get $100 a day and you want to save up for the $65.50 um, Toyota as a birthday gift to your nephew, uh, assuming you have one. Hmm? Your voice is not on the Okay, so, uh, let's see, how many days and hours would it take? So, um, 65, 51, okay. So, we know that we make $100 a day, so 100x equals to 65.50. Oh, and to spice things up a little bit, let's say you work for the kid at the candy store long enough that you gain uh, around 150, no, $1,000. You gain $1,000 uh, for working at the store for 10 days. Trade of dope, if I do say so myself. A thousand dollars is honestly a lot. You only need to work for about a year and a half. You have enough to buy a house. So, one thousand plus one hundred. Okay, so 
We spiced it up a bit. Now let's see how we can solve the problem. Now, dividing everything by uh, 100 won't really work out right here in this and that. Or will it? Because these might all be factors. So that's going to be 1000 divided by 100 is 10. And then 100 x 10 plus x equals to 65.5. So now we can subtract 10 from both sides using the addition property, giving us x equals 55.5. That means we're going to be working for 55 days and 12 hours. Or Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.